So the topic at hand today is entropy. Why should we learn about entropy and what is it related to? What is entropy? Well, for now, let us say that entropy is a very important topic in the field of thermodynamics, which is related to the second law of thermodynamics. And what is entropy? Well, before proceeding with the idea of entropy, we must know what reaction is and how many types of reactions there are. We know reactions are of two types, which is one, irreversible reaction, and two, reversible reaction. What are the differences between reversible and irreversible reaction? Well, an irreversible reaction is only a one-way reaction. And a reversible reaction, it is not one way, but it has two ways. And by definition, reversible reactions are incomplete. And reversible reactions are complete. And the idea of entropy is related to this irreversible type of reactions. Now, let us proceed with the main topic, which is entropy. Well, entropy is that particular property of matter that increases with time when it comes to an irreversible reaction. It is that property of an irreversible reaction that increases with time, in simpler words, or in other words, we can say that this is the arrow of time, because as time proceeds towards the forward direction, which is the positive direction, entropy seems to increase as well with time. Some scientists like to define entropy as also the measure of disorderliness. Sorry for the interruption, but if you're interested in having more educational content, then please go and join NoteBasket. NoteBasket is an educational group that provides tons of education materials for free. I'll slide in the link to NoteBasket below in the descriptions. For now, let's continue with the main topic at hand today. Well, let us take into consideration one particular example. Well, let's take into consideration that, that the universe, as we know, is expanding. And if we consider that the expansion of the universe is an irreversible reaction, since the universe cannot come back to its original state, we can say that this irreversible reaction is going through a change in entropy that is positive. And also with that, the, since the change of entropy is positive, we can say that the time is also increasing because that's common sense as well. Let's look at another example, if that is not unclear. Well, let's say that you are making popcorn. And as the popcorns are being made, they kind of pop out of the container that you are making the popcorns in. And since the popcorns are being made, heat is being exchanged and, and the reactions that are taking place inside the container that you are making popcorns, we can say that there's a change in entropy and, and the change in entropy is positive. So this is kind of like the basic definition, the basic idea of entropy. Well, there are two particular ways by which we can define the change in entropy. One, in terms of the system's temperature and energy, that the system gains or loses as heat. And two, by counting the ways in which the atoms or molecules that make up the system can be arranged. Well, primarily, we are only going to work with the way that is pointed in number one over here. Okay, let's proceed with the actual explanation of entropy in a detailed way. Let us consider that we have a system A over here and we have ideal gas at the left side of the system in container 1 and container 1 over here and container 2 over here are separated by a stopcock. And we must also take into consideration that the system is closed and there is no heat exchange from outer surroundings and that is why the walls of the container is made out of insulating materials over here. Alright, now what we do is we 
open the stopcock. The stopcock is open. Now, the ideal gases over here, what they do is go from container 1 over here and to 2 over here, right? This happens because the ideal gas over here in container 1 wants to attain thermal equilibrium and that is why it distributes itself to attain the entire volume of the container that it is kept in. Now, we can say that this movement of ideal gas from container 1 over here to 2 over here is basically what? An irreversible process, an irreversible reaction. This is because after the ideal gas has come to container 2 over here, it cannot go back entirely to container 1 and attain its initial state of this, right? And this is why an irreversible reaction has taken place. Now, while the irreversible process takes place, the pressure, volume, and temperature, the three thermodynamic coordinates of the system varies unpredictably since the irreversible reactions take place. And this is because there can be no system of defined equilibrium values during the intermediate stages from the initial to the final stages of these two processes that can be used to define this entire thing. Well, but if we replace this irreversible reaction over here with a reversible one, we can kind of trace the exact values of P, V, and T and find a relationship with the change in heat energy while the ideal gas flows from container 1 to container 2 as well as the change in temperature, right? So, we can mathematically describe entropy in an irreversible reaction as this, that if we define the change in entropy with this, which is delta S, we can say that the final entropy attained by the system is SF over here, and the initial, the initial entropy is SI over here. We can say that the del S over here is basically what? SF minus SI. And through experimentation and mathematical, mathematical deductions, scientists have come across the fact that delta S over here is basically the definite integration of dq over t across the limits f over i, whereas f is the final state and i is the initial state. Now, we consider that the temperature t over here remains constant. Well, what if it is actually not the case? Let's say that the temperature of the system from initial to final does actually change and the final temperature is Tf and initial temperature is Ti. So we can kind of say that there has actually been a change of temperature which is we define as delta T. So, so we consider that in this case the change in entropy is basically the average of the final and initial temperatures. So we define temperature in case of temperature change as delta S is equal to F over I the limits and over here this is T average. Well, this is the mathematical explanation of entropy for today. Well, that's all.